All right, so it's time for us to learn some proper English pronunciations. Let me bring in the word master himself coming to us live from Kisumu County. Willis, how are you doing this Friday, the 1st of April? Fine, thanks, Betty. And I can see uh, what you've done there with the lady that is just wonderful. And that lady, Betty, is tough, just like you. <laughs> okay, all right, I agree. Helen is very, very tough, and I think I'm just a bit. <laughs> so, um, Willis, let's begin with word on the street. Let's take a look at uh, that word that we gave Kenyans on the street to talk about this week. Bagwit, bagwit, bagwit. Bagwit, 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 bagwit. Bokwit. 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 <laughs> boy, boy, we quit. We quit. Hey, poke, 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 bogwit, bogwit, bogwit. Boy, boy, we quit. We quit. Okay, Willis, you know that there's a man who has really, really tried, you know. <laughs> He's gone and got his bugwit, bugwit, bugwit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Willis. But it happens, and I always say it's uh, wonderful or good for learning sometimes. Boy, quit, and all that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was funny. So what is the correct one? You know, maybe I'm laughing and I'm even so wrong in what I think is the correct pronunciation. Betty, one of those who talked to KTN on the street, mm -hmm. of course, pronounced that word correctly. Right. It's bouquet. 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 We mm. say a bouquet of flowers. All right. Bouquet of flowers. Okay. Bouquet. Boquet, boy, kiwet. Anyway, <laughs> it happens. Okay, Willis, now that you're pushing it now. But got it, Willis. Um, moving on to this other word. Um, do we say requisite or requisite? Um, how do we go about this one? <clears throat> but he, many people say requisite yes. and requisite, uh -huh. which are incorrect or inaccurate. Right. We say requisite, mm -hmm. requisite, perquisite, and prerequisite. So sight, prerequisite. no. Just like in the word opposite, we don't say sight. Yes. You say zit, zit. requisite. All right. Opposite. Got it, Willis. Moving on to this other word. Now, this one is a bit tricky. I also, I'm not sure if I know how to pronounce it. So let me spell it out. S E P U L C H R E. Sep Sepalcha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are reminding me about, uh, you are just reminded me about one wonderful bishop called Moses Chengo. Anyway, uh -huh. he's among those people who one time asked me about that word. Yeah. We say sepulchre. Sepulchre. Okay. Uh, just like the holy church of sepulchre in jerusalem sepulchre so the other versions or versions no sepulchre or sepulchre okay okay we're about to have a question core moment <laughs> But uh, I, I know. I've, got, I've gotten it with this. Okay, so moving on to this other word. Um, divisive, divisive, um, you know, when we're talking about divisive politics, you know, we also have this other one, divisive. Is it, is, you know, what is the correct one, Willis? That adjective is divisive. Divisive. Okay. Divisive. Like, we so don't good. say divisive politics. Oh. You say divisive. Mm -hmm. Just like 
decisive, not decisive or decisive. Right. Decisive victory, mm -hmm. divisive politics. All right. I hope our viewers have gotten that. I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have, Willis. Moving on to this other word, and I'll spell it out also. L-A-U-N-C-H to launch or launch, is it launch or launch something? Um, talk to us about that when I've seen someone on Twitter really asking about this particular one. We talk of launch, okay. launch. launch. I said one time that that A and U form what we call a vowel digraph, mm -hmm. two letters combining to form one sound. Yes. So they take the long vowel sound O. Okay. So you say law launch to launch to a launch. cd launch okay. all right yes. okay got it willis got it moving on to this other word let me spell this one out again because i'm not sure r-e-p-e-r-t-o-i-r-e -E -E. oh you are talking about repertoire Okay. repertoire all right repertoire just like a stock of skills uh -huh. or you know plays yes. uh that one can perform and all that mm. we say repertoire not Re repertoire or <laughs> repertoire that is tour repertoire right. okay repertoire repertoire right there you are okay yes. sour let's move on to this other word and i want you to give us our feedback question i know you had one uh talk to us about it a uh, feedback question, I think, uh, came from one Lennox Ndegwe, if I'm not wrong, yeah. of Naivasha. Uh -huh. And uh, he was asking about soldier, a soldier. Mm. The spelling is S-O-L-D-I-E-R. S-O-L-D-I-E-R, a mm. soldier. 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 Many people say soldier, like one wonderful friend <laughs> of mine also asked about that called Peter Kinudia. Okay. He also wondered why people say soldier, but soldier, soldier is mm. local. I've had that one, Willis. I've had soldier. Okay, yeah. so it's soldier. When we are speaking English, <laughs> you say a soldier. soldier. A soldier. All right, Willis. Moving on to surprise. Any surprise yeah. that we have today, apart from, bu bu you know. The first thing that he... <laughs> As I go to the surprise word, Betty, you can yeah. see some words here. Mm -hmm. That is ban, can, fan, man, yes. pan, and van. But Betty, they are not my surprise words. I've talked mm -hmm. of ban, can, fan, yeah. pan, and all that. Just yes. to remind people that sometimes we mispronounce words because we are not told about you know, the way to do so or to yes. pronounce them correctly. Now, the word I'm carrying, Betty, what do you normally hear people saying? That is the past tense of run. Run. What do people say, Betty? They say ren. I ran and ran and ran. <laughs> <laughs> I ran to that the place. Shop. I ran, ran and ran, which yes. is wrong. We say run, not rain. This is my surprise word for tonight. More often than not, you'll always mm -hmm. hear Ren, but we say run. He ran to school this morning. He ran to the office yesterday. He did this yesterday. Don't say ren, say run. And just to finish, wow. Betty, okay. we have confusing words. Uh -huh. When we talk of R, I, F, that is a single F, uh -huh. L, E, that is a rifle. 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 But when we have double F, you now say rifle. Okay. To rifle through something. Okay. Rifle, double F, but rifle, one F. Okay. But I also heard you say something, Betty. Can I tell you what it was? You want to correct me on air, Willis? <laughs> Sour. <laughs> not correcting you, Betty. No, it's fine. You it's know how fine. we do these things. We it, once it, said, it's okay. it's not fine. even Willis. Not can even Willis. <laughs> Perfect. Not even okay. Willis. Yes. Okay, Willis. There you are, Betty. It's fine. Take, I'm take not correcting you. I'm no, just confirming okay. <laughs> that when you said financing, financing, uh -huh. yeah. that is there. We say finance uh -huh. and finance. Okay. So both okay. are acceptable. <laughs> finance okay. and finance. So I was right. not correcting you. No, it's but fine. none of that, it's okay. none of us is perfect, mm. Betty. Is that All okay? Right. 
It's great, Willis. Thank you for that. You know, um, uh, you know, you know, being corrected is good. You know, positive criticism is good. So, you know, even if you, you know, you told me you said this wrong. Fine, sour, sour. We've had our Kenyan saying bukwit, <laughs> so it's fine. Thank you so much, Willis, for it happens, lesson. Betty. We mm. all make mistakes. Right. Right, got it, Willis. Thank you so much for Mind Your Language lesson tonight. Uh, you, remember, you can always catch him on Twitter at Willis Ocheng1. That's his Twitter handle. Ask him all the questions that you have in regards to pronunciation. Or you can just wait for Friday briefing, and he's going to be here on Mind Your Language.